YouTube, 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 never fail. Look at Jay's here. Back with another sneaker review today. I ran a pickup that I got um, like about a week ago and picked these up through finish line. Was looking at these and wondering when they would be available in store. Around me, there was none. I kept waiting and then I'm like, you know what? I don't know if they're going to um, have them at the store anytime soon. So, But I wanted them. I had seen pictures um, before and um yeah ordered them through finishline.com and these are a jd exclusive um basically a jd colorway not even nike has these they don't come with a little tag where it does say jd exclusive or whatever because they're still being sold at finish line as well it's the same company and so but let's get into the box and you got your red and white Nike box there, your classic you know, sportswear box. And your tag here, Nike Air Max 95 JD, black vault anthracite. Colorway is FV471001. Made in Indonesia. And you got your Stamp action, your quality control sticker there, tissue paper, and then you got your YCM sticker here. And let's look at these beauties. Woo! Woo! So these are my first Air Max 95s. I've been thinking about copying a pair for a very long time, and I finally decided to pull the trigger. Um, I wanted the OG colorway that came out in 2020 for the 25th anniversary, but you know they were limited. And starting out with your outsole, you have your black rubber outsole. You got your little waffle pattern effect there, and hit a bolt there got a nice little plastic piece here in gray and black lines going through and then your vault Nike Air and as far as the sneaker it is um, designed like the, the human uh, skin they actually did like a uh, the, the human and anatomy and the, the, the layers of the of the skin on the body and stuff and the back of the spine and whatever so um, I I really didn't do too much detail uh, research on that, but I have heard people talk about it. I just wanted to briefly talk about this sneaker like that. And so the upper consists of a felt um, material. You have black and they calling it anthracite. So you got your gradient uh, black to gray to light gray there. And that is all in this um, felt material. And your air unit right here, you can see your little holes there, the bubble that we've known is in vault there, and then the heel vault, the little hole going down the middle. Now this one here has a little bit of give, while the other one is tight, so I don't know, I got like a faulty air unit, if you will. And then you got your, your vault swoosh there and put it on nice pop get that angle right Wee. and um, you got your mesh here on your uthro area and then you got some more breathable mesh going up by the eye stays there you have your reflective 3m right here going down the middle of the tongue area as well as in the heel and that has like I said the little spine effect and your Nike air and a lighter gray nice little contrast detail and this is like a play on the og like i said um that came out and this one has just more of a black base sneaker and i actually like this one this one's just uh just sets it off nicely fire sneaker um love the hits of um the vault on the ice days and then you have your air max the classic logo there black and gray then 
Air Max in white and the vault, and then you got the vault going around. The logo there, black sock liner, black at the top of the tongue as well. Just nice little um, design there. I like that touch. Black laces, black world laces, black insole, and you have Nike Air Max with the swoosh and that vault. Just fire, clean, classic, cannot go wrong. Uh, I feel like it's like the new play on the old classic. You know, Nike usually does their own thing and, you know, they'll make milk it or whatever. With this, you can actually put any, like, color on here and it'll work. This is just so timeless. So, they can do so many things with this one. Um, that, and, like, for years I've seen, like, a couple of LeBrons that came out. Um, that were like Air Max 95s, uh, just the, the OG and just Supreme, just, uh, just there, there's been many um, iterations of the Air Max 95 that I've thought of copying, but this one, nice little GR classic, cannot go wrong, feel, uh, it, it was time, and um, yeah. If this would have been limited, I would have missed out, you know. They could have made, like, super limited pack. And, um, I believe Mita from Japan, they did a collaboration with the Air Max 95. You know, paying homage to the OG. And so this is the same thing. The only thing with this one is that, um, there's no JD branding on the sneaker, you know. It is more of like we're ordering a lot of pairs. We're gonna get these pairs out. Um, we know this is fire. Let's get it out for the people. And um, yeah, I had to cop. So there you go, YouTube. As far as rating these, I'd rate these an easy. Oh, uh, seven. Eight, seven, nine, somewhere around there. Um, but yeah, um, great for this time of the year as well. As we're getting into fall, you know, um, can deal with the elements and whatnot. And uh, you know, great for if you're a runner. I wouldn't be running in these um, like that. Uh, but they are runners. Um, they still like you know wearable like that. Uh, but uh, but yeah, YouTube. It's your boy Logan J, and I'm sending out. Peace.